Uh, it is Thursday, week three of this grand experiment. I'm getting back on that horse, making music again, and I have not gotten a whole lot done. So I'm gonna be actually structuring out this whole experiment, all this recording in a meaningful way today before we actually get to the recording and production and all that. Welcome to the grounds. I've broken down how we create this music into a number of different time blocks that are going to occur every single week. I have seeding, which is starting songs. Developing, which is working on seeds to turn them into full songs. Tracking, and then I have mixing. For each of these blocks, I have a strategy to get all of that on a film for behind the scenes. The only thing I haven't addressed in here is video creation, but this gets me like two months down the road right here. Now let's talk about the boards. This is how we run stuff, whether it be a music career or our business, and I wasn't doing it for my own music career. The pauper's son wears no shoes, right? It's true as ever, especially true with me, but we're gonna fix that. I'm going to use all the same processes that I use for my business, entrepreneur, on my music career. Now Asana is a task management application. There's a lot of different ways that you could use it. So first you'd probably create an Asana organization. You probably have a little bit of like stuff to do in order to get to the screen where I'm at now. You can feel free to just do that and then come back and, and unpause the video and, and we'll continue. But my team, my organization is called Testing Grounds and I am a Testing Grounds artist. So I'm going to click the plus sign on Testing Grounds and I'm going to create a blank project. For the project name, I'm going to put Some Kid Punk and then for the default view, I'm gonna select a board. Here we are in Asana. Now we have to do in progress done. That's kind of an unsophisticated view of a Kanban board. So you see this task right here, this task one, that's in the to-do list. And when you're planning on working on it, you move it to in progress. And now it's being worked on. And when it's done, you move it to done. So I'm gonna change these lists. First, I'm gonna make a resources list. And I'm gonna create a card called Logins and Credentials. Then we're gonna have Branding and Assets. Now, normally we have a column in here called the Backlog. I've named it the Backlog. The Backlog is like long-term to-do. So anytime someone that we're working with, like a client or a product owner on our team says, I have a bright idea for my thing that we're doing. We'll be like, put it in the Backlog. And basically every single week we look at the Backlog and see what tasks we should put on Sprint, which is, means it'll be done this week or should be on deck, which means it'll be done next week. I think a great way to think about this is seed. A seed can be a lyric, it could be a little melody, it could be like a loop you're working with or a sample. So when I click this plus sign at the top of the column, we get a card that pops out. Now, I just recently started a song for Andrew Huang's class. I'm gonna call it AH Day One. I'm just gonna use it as an example right now because it started as a loop. So I'm gonna put chord loop, then development verse. So I need to create like intro verse. That's how I like to produce. Like if I have a chord loop or something like this, that's probably what I'm gonna start with. So I'm gonna put that as a subtask here in the card. Now, when you click this button in the top right, it creates a subtask and these are additional cards within cards. Actually, you know what? Since there's multiple stages of development, I'm just going to make a subtask in the development card. So I'm gonna put intro slash verse composition, bridge slash chorus composition, and then effects layer, fills and ear candy one, fills and ear candy two, and like rough mixing. And that's probably development on the production side, right? I'm gonna get it to a place where like, okay, this is how I want it to be. The rest is stuff that I can't do and Cup will have to do because I'm not a good mixer. But that's development. Then I'm going to go into writing, a full lyrics pass, then an edit pass, and then like a melody pass where I'm kind of like fine tuning the melody, making sure it works over what I've produced, taking time to sing it out loud. Then we're going to go into tracking. Leads, backgrounds, ad libs, and then like instruments if we're gonna bring in some players. But I'll put like a star here to let me know that this is actually optional. Then we'll go back and we will do mixing and mastering. 
This is a basic structure for any song card that I'm ever gonna put into this Asana board. And anytime that I strike up a new idea in Ableton, I can actually go to this card, click the three dots on the top and duplicate the entire card. Now I haven't used anything that's incredibly specific to this song. I can duplicate it and I don't really have to change much to account for a whole other song. After seeding, we have like structural development and then I'll put detailed development and then tracking, which is in most cases, it's gonna go after development of this song and then mixing and mastering. Since I have already done some development on this Andrew Huang class day one song, I'm gonna check off the intro and verse composition. Then I'm going to assign the bridge and chorus composition to myself. Once I have that complete, I'm gonna come back in here and plan out my effects layer blocks, all my fills and ear candy and some rough mixing. And since it is now in development for the structure of it, I'm gonna go to structural development. Basically what I now have to do is take every song that I have in development and then put it in here. <laughs> So it took me uh, like four hours, but I did it. Found all the lyrics and ideas and, and melodies and songs that are worth saving. There's already 45 songs here that are going to be songs. They're all in my Asana board, ready to go. They've got notes, they're in the right column. Next, I have to block out my time. So to the whiteboard. Let's see, we've got anywhere from five to seven hours for detailed development every single week. I've got a nice three hour tracking block to get done pretty much all the tracking I need if we ever need instrument tracking. I have a flex block here. I have a good two hours of writing every week, which is super helpful. And then a good two hours of seating and ideation, which I think I should actually make this a flex block. This could also be writing because like if I just keep seeding throughout the year, I'm going to end up with an Asana board full of ideas that are never going to get completed. And I, I really don't want to end up like that. Let's get this sprint planned up real quick. So first I'm going to go to Google calendar. We're going to do a big old development block and we're going to make it repeat weekly on Thursday. Seating slash writing block weekly on Thursday. Tracking block. Then on Friday, we're in writing, tracking, and or development. Now that I have my blocks scheduled out in Google Calendar, it's time to plan this week's sprint. This last train home song is pretty much ready for tracking. So I'm gonna put myself on sprint this week to track for last train home. Now I've already tracked leads for overhead, but I don't really like my pre-chorus, so I just have to retrack that. Maybe do some backgrounds and some ad libs. So I'm gonna assign the entire tracking task to myself for today. And then I could also do some writing on this song, Number Now. So I think I'm going to put that on Sprint as well. So today is all planned out. Then for tracking and development, I'm because I'm in this Andrew Huang class, I really need to work on this shit. So I'm going to not only schedule this Andrew Huang day one song I've been working on, to be actually due by Monday, which is when it's actually due, but I'm gonna put myself on sprint to work on it to, uh, tomorrow. I got a nice big block there. I'm gonna put it so that the entire development task should be wrapped up by tomorrow. And boom, now I've got my sprint planned and you might be asking like, well, you've got all these cards. How do you know what's due for this week. And the way we do that is by going to my tasks in Asana, which is where you can see all of your upcoming tasks, things you have on Sprint, and we're all good. So what did we do today? Well, we realized that not having a structure, not running this shit like a business means you're not gonna get a whole lot done. So we need to do that. I figured out how I'm going to get acquisition, basically get the behind the scenes capturing of every moment in this whole experiment, which was a major thing holding me back from getting good content. So for every block in my calendar, I have a to-do list of things I need to do to get the footage for that block. Then we struck up an Asana board, actually three of them for this test. We've got 
songs, videos, and marketing Asana boards. Then we put every song idea I've had from the last four years, regardless of its stages of completion, into the Asana board with subtasks and with any lyrics or voice notes that might be relevant. We blocked out the day, we scheduled this week's sprint, and now I really feel like I'm gonna be making progress on my music the same way that I make progress on this company, Entrepreneur, which I'm really, really excited about. So lesson learned, don't just think you can just kind of willy nilly waltz into things, kind of need a plan, kind of need a structure. If you want to learn more about the kinds of strategies and tools that I've been using to do this, it's the same way we run Entrepreneur and it's all in this training right here. Hopefully this video served as a template that you can use to organize your music career and the things you're doing musically. Now I've got to get to writing. If you like this video, please like the video. And if it was helpful in any way, please subscribe to the channel and you won't miss any of the episodes of The Grounds. And you'll get to see whether this fails miserably or whether it's the saving grace for this whole experiment. And if you do, I will see you in the next episode.